The Samsung Galaxy S10e was released more than four years ago in March 2019. When it was launched, it received a lot of praise for being one of the best phones of the year. But can it still compete in 2023 with other phones? At the time of its launch, it was priced at $750 as the most affordable phone in the premium S10 lineup. And today, you can easily get it for a little over $100. Let's talk about it. Now the display of this phone is a really good one. It rocks a compact 5.8 inch dynamic AMOLED display that is perfect for those who prefer a small form factor. The smaller size makes it an amazing choice in this world of massive screens all around. At a full HD plus resolution of 1080x2280 pixels, this display delivers vivid visuals and you get sharp and vibrant images and texts. However, it doesn't have a fast screen refresh rate, unlike most phones from today, although that doesn't matter because it's worth $100. The display also has HDR10 Plus certification, so you should expect excellent colors and dynamic range, especially when watching content from streaming services like Netflix. So even though the screen is on the smaller side, it manages to offer a great cinematic experience. When it comes to design, the Galaxy S10e is still amazing. First of all, by today's standards, it's a small phone without a doubt. It's nice and compact, fitting quite well into the hands and providing a comfortable grip. And it's also lightweight, making it a great choice for those who still prefer compact phones. The phone also has many color variants that all look great, from the classic white and black to the more vibrant options like yellow, green, blue and even flamingo pink. Beyond the looks, the build quality of this phone is also top notch. You'll experience a premium look and feel and thanks to the Gorilla Glass 5 on both the front and back, you get some degree of protection against accidental drops and scratches. It also has IP68 dust and water resistance, meaning it can go underwater for up to 1.5 meters for 30 minutes. Now unlike many phones from 2023, you get a headphone jack giving you the added advantage and the convenience of wired headphones, which minimizes on the latency by wireless ones. And let's not forget about the side mounted fingerprint sensor, which is extremely fast. Even though in display fingerprint sensors have increased over the years, side mounted ones are usually more reliable and faster. They're also located in a spot where your thumb naturally rests, making it more comfortable. You can even swipe down on the S10e sensor to pull down the notification shade. Now like we said earlier, this phone is 4 years old already, so you'd expect its performance to not be up to current standards. But the Galaxy S10e proves otherwise. It came with flagship processors which tend to be powerful for several years to come. There were two versions of the S10e. One was powered by the Exynos 9820 chipset, and even though it was still powerful, it was outshined by the Snapdragon 855 version. So if you're going for the phone today, it goes without saying that you should choose the Snapdragon model. It's just better in general. Now remember that this phone's price is around $100, and there is absolutely no phone released at that price that can give you the decency of a good performance. All $100 phones are terrible. This should be an undisputed choice. This processor can easily run most things you throw at it. Whether you're running multiple apps, gaming, or even doing some light video editing, the Galaxy S10e would break a sweat. In terms of memory and storage, you've got options with either 6GB or 8GB of RAM and 128GB or 256GB of storage. You can also expand that storage via microSD card, and this combination ensures that you have ample space for your apps, medias, and files. Considering its affordability, the Samsung Galaxy S10e offers top tier performance that's accessible to most people. Now let's focus our lens on the Galaxy S10e's camera system, which is nothing short of impressive. The rear camera setup is a dual system that includes a 12 megapixel wide angle lens and a 16 megapixel ultra wide lens. Additionally, on the front, you have a 10 megapixel selfie snapper. They take great photos and are even better than many mid range phones of today. And let's not talk about the actual $100 phones. The comparison is not even close. It wipes the flow with all of them. All $100 phones usually have the worst camera slapped on them just for the sake of it. They take grainy photos as if they are from a pinhole camera. In good lighting conditions, this phone's camera system truly shines, capturing shots with an excellent level of detail, vibrant colors, and impressive dynamic range, whether you are capturing landscapes, portraits, or selfies. In the video department, both the rear and front cameras can record in 4K at 60 frames per second, and the inclusion of optical image stabilization ensures that your media remains steady and free from distracting shakes and jitters. It's quite obvious that you'll never get a camera like this 
on a newly released $100 phone. When it comes to software, it originally launched with Android 9 and Samsung's One UI 1.1 back in 2019 and can be upgraded up to Android 12 and One UI 4.1, which is the final software update for this device. This may be a deal breaker for some because we are now in Android 14, but I'ma be honest, anyone spending $100 on a phone does not care about software updates at all. As a matter of fact, new $100 phones don't even offer one year of software updates, and most of the time, their software features are usually watered down versions minus many great features, while this phone still has it all. The Galaxy S10e comes with a relatively small 3100mAh battery, but its small display helps it conserve power, so you'll find that it lasts longer than you might initially expect. However, being an older device, it's common sense to manage your expectations. While it doesn't offer super long battery life, it certainly falls within the average range. When it comes to charging, you get 15 watts, which is obviously slow by today's standards, but it's normal by ultra cheap phone standards. It also supports wireless charging and even reverse wireless charging for your accessories like your smartwatch or wireless earbuds. Now you typically don't get wireless charging for any phone around this price, so it's another win. So, should you buy this phone currently? Yes, you probably should. If you're working with a tight budget, but you still demand high performance, this device is a true gem. Let's face it, most people in the market for a $100 phone are basically seeking functionality, but the Galaxy S10e delivers more than just that. It provides an incredible camera, a great display, top tier performance, IP68 dust and water resistance, wireless charging, expandable storage, and even the trusty headphone jack, all for a mere $100. Most other $100 phones only offer a good battery life, but every other single thing about them is trash. But let's not forget that it's a small phone, making it a double-edged sword. If you're not a fan of smaller screens, then it may not be the one for you. But if you like compact phones, it's just another added advantage. What other older phones should you talk about? Let us know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, I'm Milan and this is Fuzitech. Subscribe.